Hello everyone, welcome to Indian National Junior Science Olympiad 2015 Physics Solutions. Units of length, velocity and force in certain system of units are doubled of those of SI units. That means unit of length in this system is 2 meter and so on for a force and velocity. Read the following statements. Unit of mass is unchanged. Unit of time is unchanged. Unit of linear momentum is doubled. Unit of energy is doubled. By taking the length, velocity and force as fundamental quantities, we can write mass in terms of these fundamental quantities as m equal to Lf by v square. Unit of mass in new system m dash equal to 2 times L into 2 times F by 4v square that is Lf by v square that is equal to m indicating that unit of mass is not changed. Rest of the solution is in next frame. Time in terms of given fundamental quantities t equal to lv by f power 0. Unit of time in terms of new system t dash equal to 2l by 2v into 2f power 0 which comes out to be t. Linear momentum of the particle p equal to mv that is lf by v square into v that is lf by v. Unit of linear momentum in terms of new system p dash equal to 2l into 2f by 2v that is 2 times lf by v that is 2 times momentum. Energy of the particle e equal to f into l that is also equal to work done. Unit of energy in terms of new system u dash equal to 2f into 2l that is 4 times fl so it is 4 times e. So from these observations we can see b is the correct option. A beam of yellow light traveling in vacuum lambda equal to 600 nanometer enters an ordinary transparent glass mu equal to 1.5. Read the following statements. Its wavelength becomes equal to that of red color in vacuum. Its wavelength becomes equal to that of green color in vacuum. Energy of the photons corresponding to the refracted light is the same as that corresponding to incident light. Energy of photons decreases. Wavelengths of red and green color lights in vacuum 700 nanometer and 550 nanometer. Wavelength of yellow color light in vacuum is 600 nanometer. So the wavelength of yellow light in glass lambda glass equal to lambda by mu which comes out to be 400 nanometer. As the light photons enter glass frequency remains the same. So the energy of the photons in a refracted light is the same as that of the incident light. So option A is correct. Air of density rho moving with velocity v strikes normally on an inclined surface of area A of a wedge of mass m kept on a horizontal surface. Collisions are perfectly elastic that is no loss of kinetic energy. Minimum coefficient of static friction between the wedge and the horizontal surface for the wedge to remain stationary is. Force exerted by air on the inclined plane F equal to change in momentum by time that is 2mv by t as the collision is perfectly elastic that is 2 times mass can be written as volume into density into v by t that is 2 times a rho v square. Frictional force between the wedge and the surface should be greater than the horizontal component of this force. So F sin theta equal to mu n or f sin theta equal to mu times mg plus f cos theta from where we get uh, mu equal to f sin theta by mg plus f cos theta that is 2 times rho a v square sin theta by mg plus 2 times rho a v square cos theta. A mass hanging with a spring suspended from a ceiling is pulled down and released. The mass then oscillates with SHM of period t. The graph shows how its distance from the ceiling varies with time. What can be deduced from the graph? Capital T is the time taken to complete one oscillation that is known as time period. So time taken to complete half of the oscillation is t by 2. That is the block goes from lower extreme to upper extreme. As the block is moving from lower extreme to upper extreme, it crosses the mean position at t equal to t by 4. And at mean position, a simple harmonic oscillator will have maximum speed. So, option C is correct. 
figure shows a small boat containing some iron balls floating on a still lake. These iron balls are now dropped into the lake. Select the wrong statement. Level of lake will fall with ground reference. The boat will rise with water reference. Level of boat will rise with ground reference. Water level will not change from ground reference. The mass of boat B capital M and mass of iron balls is small m. Density of iron ball is rho i. Density of water is rho w. Volume of water displaced in the first case V1 equal to m plus m by rho w that is capital M by rho w plus small m by rho w. Volume of water displaced in the second case V2 equal to capital M by rho w plus small m by rho i. So the last option D is wrong. There exists a uniform magnetic field perpendicular and inward to the plane of the figure through rectangular area ABCD only. PQRS is a rectangular loop of an electrically conducting wire partly inserted in the region ABCD in the plane of the figure. Read the following statements. Clockwise current will be set up in the loop in figure 1. Clockwise current will be set up in the loop in figure 2. Clockwise current will be set up in the loop in figure 3. Clockwise current will be set up in the loop in figure 4. Let's analyze all the four cases. In the first case, area of the loop is decreasing. So flux into the plane is decreasing. The induced current should try to increase it. So the current flows in clockwise direction. In the second case, area of the loop is increasing. Flux into the plane is increasing. The induced current should try to decrease it. So the current flows in anti-clockwise direction. In the third case, area of the loop is decreasing, flux into the plane is decreasing, the inducer current should try to increase it, so the current flows in clockwise direction. In the final case, area of the loop is increasing, flux into the plane is increasing, so the inducer current should try to decrease it, so the current flows in anti-clockwise direction, so the correct option is B. Three filament bulbs made from a metal of low thermal coefficient of resistivity are arranged as shown in figure. The wattage rating of each bulb is the power output if it is connected independently across 240 volt. The bulb that glows brightest and least bright are respectively. Resistance of the filament R equal to V square by P. So resistance of 60 watt lamp is 960 ohm. Resistance of 100 watt lamp is 576 ohm and resistance of 40 watt lamp is 1440 ohm. The total resistance of the circuit is 360 plus 1440 that is 800 ohm. So the current through the circuit I equal to V by R that is 240 by 1800 which comes out to be 2 by 15 ampere. Coming to current through 60 watt lamp I60 equal to V by R that is 576 by 576 plus 960 into 2 by 15 that is current divides in inverse ratio of resistances in parallel combination which comes out to be 5 into 10 power minus 2 ampere. Current through 100 watt lamp similar calculation gives us 8.3 into 10 power minus 2 ampere and current through 40 watt lamp is 2 by 15 ampere. Now power consumed by the 60 watt lamp P60 equal to I60 square plus R60 which is 2.4 watt. Power consumed by 100 watt lamp is 4 watt and power consumed by 40 watt lamp is 25.6 watt from which we can see the correct option is D. An equiconvex lens of focal length F is cut into two equal halves which are pasted as shown in figure. The focal length of the new system will be. Given focal length of equiconvex lens is F. When the lens is cut into two halves perpendicular to the principal axis, two plano convex lenses are formed. The focal length of so formed plano convex lens is 2F. So by applying a formula for combination of lenses, we get 1 by capital F equal to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2 which gives us the effective focal length of the system to be equal to F. 12 identical wires are connected in the plane as shown in figure. The 6 outer wires make a regular hexagon and the remaining 6 join the vertices of this hexagon with a common center C. 
Each wire has a resistance of 20 ohm. Calculate the effective resistance between A and B. If you connect a battery across A and B, the currents in AC and CB are the same and those in DC and CE are the same. Since the currents in AC and CB is the same, joint C can be removed. Since the current in DC and CE is the same, joint C can be removed as stated above. Now resistance between A and B and D, D and E is 2 by 3 R. So resistance between F and G is 2 R. Now you can see the redrawn circuit resistance between A and B is 11 by 20 R that is 11 ohm. When 5 volt are applied across the terminals of a galvanometer 100 milliampere current passes through its coil and the galvanometer shows full scale deflection. With suitable modification it can be used to measure potential difference or currents with certain sensitivities. A shunt resistance is now connected par parallel to the galvanometer so that 80% of the current approaching the coil goes through the shunt. This ammeter is used to measure current supplied by an ideal cell of EMF 6 volt connected across a bulb of resistance 40 ohm. Calculate the error in the measurement of the current passing through the bulb. Resistance of the galvanometer G equal to V by IG that is 50 ohm. Shunt resistance S equal to G by I by IG minus 1 which comes out to be 12.5 ohm. Resistance of the ammeter is 10 ohm you can see from the calculation. Actual current in 40 ohm resistance I equal to V by R so that is 6 by 40 0.15 ampere. Now the current measured by the ammeter is 6 by 40 plus 10 that is 6 by 50 that is 0.12 ampere. So the percentage error is 0.15 minus 0.12 by 0.15 into 100 which comes out to be 20 percent. A cylindrical vessel of diameter 12 centimeter contains 736 pi centimeter cube of water. A cylindrical solid glass piece of diameter 8 centimeter and height 8 centimeter is placed in the vessel. If a point object at the bottom of the vessel under the glass piece is seen by paraxial rays, locate the image of the object and find the total apparent shift at the bottom. Given refractive index of water is 4 by 3 and that of glass is 3 by 2. Volume of water in the cylindrical vessel is 736 pi centimeter cube. Volume of the cylindrical glass piece is pi r square h which comes to be 128 pi centimeter cube. Height of water above the glass piece 736 pi equal to pi r square h plus pi times r square minus r square into 8 which simplifies to be 16 centimeter. So, so there is a 16 centimeter of water column above the glass piece. Now the apparent shift of the object shift due to water plus shift due to glass piece that is 16 times 1 minus 1 by refractive index of water plus 8 into 1 minus 1 by refractive index of glass which come to be 20 by 3 centimeter. The sharpest image of sun cast by converging lens with focal length 20 centimeter has a diameter of 0 0.5 centimeter. A diverging lens of focal length 10 cm is placed 15 cm from the converging lens on the other side of the sun. Determine the size of the final image and its position with respect to the diverging lens. Sun can be taken to be at infinity so the image is formed at focal point. For the diverging lens 1 by v minus 1 by equal to 1 by f that is 1 by v minus 1 by 5 equal to minus 1 by 10 which gives us v equal to 10 cm. Magnification provided by the diverging lens m equal to image distance by object distance that is 10 by 5 which is 2. So magnification can also be written as height of the image by height of the object. So hi by h naught equal to 2 which gives us height of the image to be 1 cm. A bar magnet of mass 0.2 kg hangs from a string. A metal sphere of mass 0.5 kg is held underneath in contact with the magnet by magnetic force of 20 Newton. An upward force is now applied to the string that develops tension T in the string. Calculate the maximum possible value of T for which the sphere is in contact with the magnet. Magnetic force between the sphere and the magnet is 20 Newton. Maximum acceleration possible 
f equal to m of g plus a that is 20 equal to 0 0.5 into 10 plus a which gives us a equal to 30 meter per second square. So the maximum tension in this string t equal to m plus m of g plus a that is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 into 10 plus 30 which comes out to be 28 newton. A foot packet of mass 20 kg is dropped from a helicopter at rest in air. The packet falls under gravity. It gains a kinetic energy of 5000 joule when it acquires a terminal velocity due to air resistance. The force of air resistance F is given by minus kV. Calculate the value of k. Mass of the foot packet is 20 kg. Kinetic energy gained by the foot packet is half m v square that is 5000 equal to half into 20 into v square which gives us v equal to 10 root 5 meter per second. Air resistance on the foot packet is f equal to minus kV that is minus k times 10 root 5. Since the foot packet is moving with the terminal velocity, resultant acceleration and force are 0. So f net equal to 0, gravitational force minus air resistance should be equal to 0 that gives us mg minus k times 10 root 5 equal to 0. Upon simplification, the value of k comes out to be 20 by root 5 newton second per meter. A tiny ball is dropped on a smooth inclined plane as shown in figure. It falls through 1.8 meter before striking the plane. Coefficient of restitution of impact is 0 0.5. Calculate time taken by the ball before second impact. Neglect air resistance. Coefficient of restitution of collision of two bodies is defined as the numerical ratio of relative speed of separation to relative speed of approach. Velocity acquired by the ball before striking the inclined plane v equal to root 2 gh that is 6 meter per second. Component of velocity along the inclined plane is v cos 30 that is 3 root 3 meter per second. Component of velocity perpendicular to the plane is v sin 30 that is 3 meter per second. Velocity of the ball after first impact v1 equal to ev sin 30 that is 1.5 meter per second. After the impact the ball follows a parabolic path so the time of flight t equal to 2v sin theta by g that is 0.6 seconds. Masses of 300 gram and 500 gram are hung at the opposite ends of a light inextensible string. The string passes over a smooth horizontal peg. The system is released from rest. Calculate the loss in gravitational potential energy of the system when the 300 gram mass has ascended by 1 meter. At this instant, the other mass is suddenly reduced by 400 gram. How much further will the 300 gram mass ascend? Neglect air resistance. Loss in gravitational potential energy, capital MGH minus small mgh, which is 2 joule. Applying conservation of energy, loss in potential energy should be equal to gain in kinetic energy that is 2 joule equal to half into 0.3 plus 0.5 into v square which gives us velocity to be root 5 meter per second. Reduction in mass of the system is 400 gram. So the reduction in kinetic energy of the system would be half into 0.4 into 5 that is 1 joule. At the maximum height the kinetic energy becomes a 0. So delta k equal to delta u that is capital M minus small m into gh equal to 3 minus 0.1 into 10 into h which uses height to be 0.5 meter.